resting on me. Losing my brother and cousins was devastating to our pride. Though we deal in death every day, we're not mindless killers. We're intelligent, sensitive, and just like you, we grieve. As a young cub, I didn't really understand. Maybe I thought I could make things better, cheer everyone up. But it turns out grief takes its time. A month later, my pride was still calling out. lost their cups. And my father needed reassurance. He knew his legacy was in danger. And that he was becoming too frail to defend our pride. It was up to us lionesses to be stronger than ever and carry the family through these brutal times. Male lions come and go. They're transitory in our lives. But the sisterhood is eternal. Our pride has held this same territory for centuries. And our legacy is handed down from mother to daughter. Now it was my turn to embrace my power and to lead as a lioness. I had the youth and vitality to give my family hope for the future. It was hard not having any cubs around for company. But now I was an only child with the attention of the whole pride giving me the best possible chance. If I was to live up to my potential, I had to pick myself up and make the most of each day. Push the boundaries. Be fearless. And play hard. With no other cubs around, the adults had to be my playmates. as well as my providers. And when it came to food, I always tried to take the lion's share. I had quite the appetite. 
Every day was a chance to discover my strengths. And I was becoming Malika. Adventurous, kind, and a habit for hanging around in trees. As my confidence grew, the spirit of the pride was restored. We were united again, stepping down the road ahead. And I was set to be right at the center of the team. Or so I thought. My father had been defending our pride for over five years. Each day we grew stronger. He grew weaker. The threat of a takeover was inching ever closer. And when new males appear, any cubs from the old bloodline become a target. Five months old, and I was one fierce feline. At least that's how I felt inside. Okay, so maybe it wasn't me who hunted that giraffe. You need experience to make a big kill. Far too much to finish, it was the perfect chance to play with my food. Let my killer instincts emerge. Slowly. Luckily, my mother was patient. The more space she gave me, the sooner I would become a real predator. But until that day, I was still prey. <coughs> my mom was scared for my safety. warned her greatest fear. For the past few weeks, a young male had been venturing deep into our territory. She was clearly worried, but tried not to let it show. And as long as we were together, I felt safe. My mother's touch let me know I was doing okay and ready for the next big lesson in becoming a hunter. It's only when the sun sets that a lion's day really begins. The air is cool, the light is low. We gain an edge over our prey. <laughs> <laughs> 